Hi guys, in today's video I will be showing you how to write a Python code in Sublime and run it in Windows 11 environment. Ok, so the prerequisites for this is that you should have Sublime text editor installed. If you do not have it installed, please check one of the videos that I previously made where I went through the process of installing Sublime text editor in Windows 11 environment. The process will be the same if you have a different operating system. Alright, so once you have Sublime Text Editor installed, the next thing is to go ahead and write your Python code. Alright, so to do that, what I will need to do is to identify a folder in my file explorer where my programs are going to live. So for me here, I have CK tutorials for that. And to get here, all you need to do is go to File and Open Folder. And here, this is your file explorer, so just identify one of the folder where you want to work out of. So here, I went to desktop and just created a folder for CK tutorials. And all you need to do is just click that folder and open it, select it. So it will bring you to Sublime. And currently, I do have two programs inside this folder. Okay? So now I'm going to write another Python code inside this folder and I will show you how to run that Python code. Okay, so to do that I will right click the folder and click this one new file. So this will bring me to this new tab here and here now I need to save this file as a Python file. So I'm going to click Control S on your Windows and here I'm going to name this file as fruitsbasket.py so basically what this code will do is iterate through a list of fruits and print them out. Okay, so I'm going to save this here. And again, like I mentioned, I'm going to write a Python code that will iterate through a list of fruits and then print them out. So I'm going to start here. I will just describe here. I'll put comments here. And I will say uh, iterate through a list of fruits and print them out okay so to do that the first thing that i will need to do is to put together the list of the fruits so i'm going to say fruits and here i will just put a list of fruits so i will say orange and then the other one will be mango and then next one let's say uh, kiwi and then banana and then last one I will have crepes ok so I have a list of my fruits and what I will need to do is to iterate through this list and print them out in a new line so for that I will use a for loop so I'm going to say for fruit in fruits I want to print fruit okay so basically what this code is doing is it's going to iterate so basically go through this list and it will print each fruit in a new line okay so I'm going to save this and now the question is how do you run this code if you see here there is no run pattern. If you highlight it and right click it, nothing. Okay? So, how do you write this code? So, I'm going to show you two ways. And the first one that I'm going to show you is to run it inside Sublime Text Editor itself. Okay? So, to do that, what you'll need to do is go to Tools and then go to Pure System. And right here, you will see a list of programming languages. And the one that we want to, to use is Python so that is what our code is so we have a Python code so we want to run a Python code so I'm going to select this and now to run it once you have that selected to run this code you will need to press in your keyboard if you're using Windows you need to press Control and P together Control and P as in boy okay so that is Control P okay you press it together and it will run your code 
and as you can see here my code has run and has printed the list of fruits what we have up here in new line so we have orange coming first mango kiwi banana and crepes so this is what i intended this code to do and again to run it just press ctrl and p and it's going to print out your code okay so let's add some few um lines here of course so let's say i want before i print them out i want to say print uh below is my fruit basket list like that okay and i'm going to save this and again to run it just go down here and click control and p so it's going to update it and run it okay so you can see here that one has run okay so let's add one other thing let's add a count of our fruits how many fruits do we have so for this i'm going to go down here and put the variable here and uh, initialize it as zero and then in my loop i'm going to before i print i'm going to increment this by one so i'm going to say count and i want to count this by one so basically this this counts by one so the first time it will see orange it and then it will count this by one so the first time it goes it will be the count will be one and then the next loop it's going to be two so it updates it to two and then it goes all the way and then at the end it's going to update the count variable with the total count of the fruits we have in the basket okay so this is what that one does and then down here all i have to do uh, is i need to print this one out so i will print here we have a total of and i will use f string for this and i will say a total of count fruits in our basket okay and then i will save this and again i'm going to run it so what we'll expect here is that we will print this one first and then it is going to count and then it's not going to print count yet but it is going to update it behind the hood and what because we are printing this one next what it will do is it's going to print the list of the fruits and then down here it is also going to print this message together with the count so how many do we have one two three four five so we should see a message saying we have a total of five fruits in our basket when this code runs so i'm going to go down here and click Control p okay so as you can see our message is printed here okay so again this one runs fast and then we have our variable count that will store the list or basically that will store the count of the fruits and this one is taken care of in this loop and then we are printing this one which will be this list and then at the end we print our message with the count of the fruits we have in the basket okay guys so that's one way of running a python code inside sublime text editor and to do that you will need to go to tools and then pure system and have python selected so if you are using java for example you will need uh java I believe it's Chaffa C. I don't know if this one is here. Right here. Yeah. So for Chaffa, you will need to check this and um, some of these other ones. Um, I haven't tested them, but I will believe uh, it is pretty similar. Okay. And then now, the other method of running a code that you have in Sublime Text Editor is through the command line. So I'm going to bring my command prompt up. So I'm going down here and type CMD. And then. I have my command prompt here so to run this code all you need to do is navigate to where your code is stored in your file explorer 
so for me I have it in desktop inside CK tutorials so I'm going to copy this path and I will paste it here so I will CD to this and paste it and now let me just bring this one up here and put them next to each other like this okay and now what you will need to do is just list it to DIR and you will see our file here fruits basket inside that explorer or inside this directory so to run this code from command line or terminal if you have terminal all you will need to do is type python and then the name of the file which in this case is fruits basket.py and then run it and just click enter okay so you will see here it is printing the same message okay so this is another way of running your code through command prompt if you have your code in sublime so let's do one other thing let me see if i can add another line of code here and then just show you how to do that so i'm going to add another food here let's say strawberry strawberry okay and i'm going to save it and now i'm going to run it again in command prompt so all you need to do again is type python and then the name of the file so that is python fruits basket for me and click enter and as you can see our list grew up by one and also our count updated so the other thing that you will need to make note of if you're using command prompt to run your code is that every time you make changes you have to save it if you don't save it it's not going to update when you run it it will give you the previous resource so you must always save it before you run and even here itself if you want to run within sublime you still need to save it before you run okay guys so that is the process of writing and running a code in sublime text editor within windows 11 environment i hope this video was useful if you have not subscribed this channel please take a second and click the subscribe button so that in future i make similar videos you will be notified all right thank you very much guys bye bye